Hello friends, uh, in this video I'm going to work with uh, authentication and for that I have installed the Laravel Breeze and also I've created the uh, Laravel testing database and make a migration. So here we have the migrations of our project and uh, let's uh, go and create a new testing. So if we go here we can create a test, PHP Artisan make test for the feature test or this one for the unit. I'm going to create feature test and also I'm going to open the iTerm CD in the code and CD in the Laravel testing. Okay. And uh, you have the GitHub repository of this project in the description of the video. Okay, so artisan make test user test. And if I open the VS code, open the user test PHP, and here we have the example here. We don't need the example. So hit save and also because we have a uh, install the Laravel Breeze, we have this register and also the login page. And when we register, we go to the uh, dashboard. Okay, so first let, let uh, run the test if uh, everything is okay now because we have installed the package. So artisan test. And we have a failure here, one failed, and the contains about because when we installed the Breeze package, we have modified the web road. And yeah, we have added this road dashboard. So we need also to add one more for the about and go to the about and return what we was uh, about page save run again the test and maybe i'm going to zoom it and we have uh, one warnings because in the user test we don't have any tests okay so we are going to write right now Close this one and in the user test first I'm going to check if when we log in, uh, when we register and log in we redirect back to the authentication. Okay, the same thing when we can do with uh, go here, register new user and when we register automatically we loading, uh, log in sorry, and we go back to the dashboard. But for that we are going to use test so function and test the login redirect the dashboard successfully okay we don't need any of this first we need to create a new user, so user uh, factory and create and it's going to create new user for us. For example, email is going to be a test at test.com and the password it's going to be bcrypt and I'm going to add the password here. Okay. After that, I'm going to say uh, we need to import the user first. Model user. Okay. After that, say the response is going to be this 
and we are going to post now to the slash login and we need to add the email which is this email we added test test.com and the password so we are going to log in and the password is password okay after that we need to see if the status if is a uh, three of choose or the redirect and i'm going to say uh, dollar sign response assert status is three or two and maybe also the response assert redirect and when we redirect to the dashboard so slash uh, dashboard save and go and run the test and yeah and we have 19 tests because by default when we install the uh, laravel breeze we have the authentication test here so, so let's uh, delete them and let's create another test here so for example uh, if the authenticated user can uh, visit the dashboard can access the dashboard so function and the name is going to be test the authenticated user can access dashboard okay and create the user so dollar sign user factory create okay and we need to act in as the user so uh sorry uh, response first this acting as user yeah and uh, we need to get the dashboard so get dashboard and now we need to see if the asset the response as the assert status of uh, 200 and if i save uh why we have this one here We have a user here so where is the problem anyway go and test and when we, we have one failed okay yeah we need to use the refresh database so save and run again the test and passed we have five test pass authenticated user can uh, access the dashboard okay let's uh, check now if the unauthorized user cannot access the dashboard so the opposite of this one and create a function so uno, uh, test first test unauthenticated user cannot access dashboard And what can, what 
we can do here is we don't need the user here so the response is going to be this get and get the dashboard okay and now we can see the response assert status because we need that uh, we when we are not uh, logged in so I'm going to we are not logged in and if I navigate to the dashboard we are dragged back to the login okay so we need to check if the asset status is 302 for redirect and also the response assert redirect and when we redirect to the login and save go and test and yeah six passed so unauthenticated user cannot access the dashboard uh, let's uh, create one more for this video so so let's open the user model and here I'm going to create a new name attribute and import the attribute here. Okay, save. So this is Laravel 9 attribute. And I'm going to create the attribute uh, to check if the user has that attribute. So public function user as the name attribute and first we need to create user and I'm going to copy this one okay so when say here dollar sign user is going to be with this user okay after that say this assert equals equals and now here we need the name to be the same thing the user name now if you if i open again the user so user model here we set when we get the name we change this str to uppercase so it's not the same thing we added and if i run the test six best okay when user has name attribute why we don't have that so clear this and try again oh uh, yeah we need to add test first here so test the user so when we expect a fail failure here run a test now and yeah failed asserting that two strings are e equal so this is name and here we redirect this name here Uh, yeah we need to add the name first here so the name is uh, for example 
John and save and run again the test. So the first name oh here in also sorry friends. Add John here and now here is the John we added here and what we get is with uppercase John. So we can say here uh cut this and say str the uppercase and paste that in sorry paste that in hit save and test now yeah seven uh passed because we get the same thing we have here str the uppercase and if i remove this and also now just say John here we are going to get the same thing because the user has a name here and test again and 7 passed okay friends that is for this video hope you enjoy and see you in the next one all the best